Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this eyeshadow look on camera. Um, just on this eye actually. With the Beauty Bay, me, myself and M -M 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 Mitchell palette. Which looks like this. It's a very pretty shimmery palette. And it's got a lot of shades in it. I will not be swatching it today because I've had a lot of technical difficulties with my camera. But this is the palette. You get like all of these matte colors over here and all of these matte colors over here. So these are more of like the cool purples, blues and greens and these are more of like the light pink, yellows and reds which is really pretty. And over here are all the shimmer shades and over here as well. So just keep watching if you want to see how I created this eye makeup look. I didn't actually spend too long doing it and I used like my half assed measures of using a few different brushes and kind of just blending and hoping for the best. Alright, so I've already done my base makeup as you can probably tell. So I'll put all the details for what I've used on my base makeup in the description below. So this is a really good palette for travel, especially if you want like all the colors without having to like compromise and take multiple palettes at once. Even though travel is not really a thing that's happening right now. It's awesome because the mirror is magnetized so it goes like in here, you can like pull it out easily. Yeah, it's basically just magnetized into the middle piece. Um, it's easy to close and it kind of just moves when you close it as well, so it moves quite naturally. Okay, so after careful thought and consideration, I've decided I'm going to go for more of the pink tones in this palette because there are quite a few pink tones and I haven't actually played with them that much. Um, I have done quite a few bluey green looks recently, so I'm going to try to avoid that for now and just try something a little bit different to what I've been doing. To get started, I'm basically just going to go ahead and kind of use a bit of the colors on this side first. And I start off with the shade Motto and I'm going to put this throughout the crease of my eyes. And I'm literally just like freestyling this all here right now. Yay! So I'm just going to lightly apply this throughout the crease of my eye, kind of just buff it through. And then I'm just going to do my other eye off of camera. I'm looking to actually get a new camera soon because this one just doesn't last very long while filming. And I've got two batteries which is just annoying because I have to like switch midway through filming and then sometimes I even go over filming for two with two batteries so then I have to like charge one and then just wait. And it's like nobody really has that time to kind of sit around waiting, especially when you're making a video and spending hours doing it. But yeah. <sighs> so if anyone has any good camera recommendations for something that's got good quality, um, a flip screen, and is, isn't like too expensive, then hit me up, let me know. So I've kind of just blended that out. The more blending, the better. So I'm just going to kind of keep blending this in. As you can probably tell, I don't have like a huge great strategy with my eyeshadow application. I kind of just use whatever brush I think works best and kind of blend the hell out of it. I have used this palette before and I really, really like it. Um, I think the pigments are super, super pigmented. And as you can tell, there isn't much fallout. So the whole risk of worrying that I'm going to like mess up my face makeup isn't really there, which is great. Just gonna deepen that in there as well. Kind of went a little bit overboard, but that's fine because I'm probably gonna cut my crease anyways. That's what it looks like so far. As you can tell, the pigments are super pigmented. For applying the shadow, I have like prepped my eyelids with concealer and then I put the eyeshadow primer over top. That's just kind of like the technique that I like using. I'm not sure why, but it works. So, so now that I've applied that, I'm just gonna get like a clean brush and buff that out a bit more just so there's no harsh lines. So now that I've applied motto kind of like all throughout my crease of my eye and over my eyelid, I'm just going to go ahead and use the shade um, Morning Glory, which is quite a hot pink. Just this one here. It's a very pretty color. And I'm going to lightly apply this with this little blending brush. this off there's a lot of powder here um, and I'm just gonna apply this like kind of over the crease a little bit more just to make it a bit more pinky I'm gonna go in with the shade mini which is like a dark kind of burgundy red and I'm gonna go in deeper into my crease with this shade so I'm just gonna like physically tap it into here a 
literally stick it into my eyelid. And then I'm gonna go back in with that brush that I blended out with earlier and just kinda tidy this up. Blend it through together a bit more. Just because I like wanna do something a little bit different instead of just like all one color. I'm gonna go in and apply some yellow tones because why not? Um, next I'm gonna go in with this shade here which is called Mixer. And I'm kinda just gonna apply this in the center of my eyelid but like over here. I can't really describe where that is, but you can physically see it, so that's fine. And I'm just gonna tap this in with like a shading brush. Just so there's like a nice yellow kind of, it's more of like a mustard color, but why not? And I'm also gonna do the same and blend this out. There we go, so it's like a subtle kind of yellow, purple, pink mix, because we're feeling random today. So next I'm gonna just go ahead and like cut my crease with a concealer. I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer in the shade 135. And I'm literally just gonna put this onto my eyelid a little bit and then look up and it kind of just creates like the line for the cut crease. And then I like to blend that out with a brush. So anyways, I've applied the concealer kind of throughout my, um, over my lid. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Michelle, which is a nice pink shimmery tone. These colors are so nice and pigmented, um, and they're very shimmery and easy to apply. So I'm just gonna literally use my finger to apply this first, just to kind of create like a soft base for it. Just like a nice shimmery pink, very Barbie color. I'm just gonna apply that with my finger finger application is like the best for shimmers and fingers are free so that's a win for me and I'm just gonna use like a little angular brush to kind of apply and define the crease okay and I've decided I'm gonna go in with the shade Morgan Morgan on my bottom lower lash line I'm just gonna use like a fluffy blending brush to do so And just to soften that up a bit more, I'm gonna use the shade Miles High, which is this one here. And kind of just use that in the in my bottom lash line in the inner corner. And just to make this eyeshadow situation a little bit more extra, I've decided that I'm gonna use the shade. I'm decided, I've decided that I'm going to use the shade Melted in my inner corner, so it's a nice shimmery gold. Okay, and to apply Melted, I've just, I'm just getting like this little applicator brush here, and going to wet it with some setting spray as well, just to kind of make it shimmer a bit more. Let's pack this on, to look how bright that is. So yellow. Um, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of muffin, which is also another shimmery tone, on top of the pink, kind of like just to highlight the middle a little, little bit more. I'm just gonna use my finger for this too. Just like tap that on. Kind of towards the middle of the shadow. And that just makes it pop a little bit more. Again, with a little kind of applicator brush, and I'm gonna use this under my brow bone. I'm gonna lightly blend this in. <laughs> and just so that doesn't look awkwardly blended, I'm gonna again blend this in with the blending brush to kind of merge with the shimmer a little bit more. So that's pretty much my eyeshadow look with the palette. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some black eyeliner into my waterline and then some lashes and then that's basically my eye look complete and I'm obviously gonna do the other eye because yeah. But so I'm gonna do that off of camera and I'll show you the end result and talk a bit more about the palette in detail. Okay, so I'm finally done with my makeup. Um, so this is like my finished look. I had a good play with the palette and I really loved it so I definitely recommend this palette to someone after a relatively affordable palette with 
a wide range of colors and shimmer and matte tones which is really good and I love it I really do really like it by the next video I hopefully will have a proper camera or I fixed my memory card problems with this one because I had a lot of technical difficulties while trying to film this which was not ideal so if you did enjoy watching this video I'd love if you could subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram my Instagram is the same handle as my YouTube which is Siri X zero um, yeah I hope you liked the video and let me know if you have any questions about the palette and I will hopefully be creating more videos with this palette soon Thanks for watching.